Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I know it I know it has been a long time since I put out a video and I apologize for that, but life has been crazy, especially this summer. I actually got to like enjoy my summer a little bit. I went camping, I visited my sister in Buffalo, and it was overall a great summer and I'm happy I was able to finally do something. But I still took summer classes. Um, so this video is going to be about the knowledge that you should have before going into your prereqs and the knowledge you should be having before you go into a nursing program, which would include your prereqs. So if you're interested in knowing a little bit about that, then keep on watching. So um, for me, I had done a lot of college classes before I had started my prerequisite because I was trying to go into fine arts and I had switched my um, major a couple times and that just kind of led me into having enough classes to start my prerequisites for my nursing program because I had taken so many classes it was ridiculous so they kind of just wanted me to take the main courses which was my prerequisites and that was pretty much it and I got my associate's degree. Before I went into my prerequisite classes I took a lot of math classes. Not too many but enough for me to review my math and I would say I'm so-so at math and um, I had to take stats, I had to take college algebra, um, but if it's been a while since you've taken math since high school and um, you're going back to college and you're a little bit older, I would really suggest taking a review course. I know the numbers are kind of different for English and math classes, but I took like what would be considered English 101 and, or 102, so it was just your basic um, English class and then English Lit. And then I also took chemistry, and I hadn't taken chemistry in high school. I took it for the first time in college, and that was brutal. And I pretty much had to teach everything myself, and it ended up working out. I passed. <laughs> so I think the best way I got through chemistry was by teaching other people about chemistry, and it just kind of reinforced the information. And then I ended up taking organic chemistry once I wanted to, once I made the decision to go into a nursing program because a lot of programs for bachelors, they, were on, they want you to have an organic chem class. So we'll see where I end up after this program. I'm not sure where I want to go yet for a bachelor program, but I did that just in case. And that was a pretty decent class. So if you haven't taken chemistry at all, definitely take an intro to chem class. You probably might even have to take that before you take an organic chem class. I'm not sure. It depends on the school. Um, and if you did take chemistry in high school and you want a refresher, definitely just take it again. Just take it again. It doesn't hurt, right? So those are some of the classes I took. And then you have like your humanities and you have like your extracurricular ones or whatever, like just your random ones. And then um, I took some art classes. I took a lot of art classes because I was going into fine arts. And then I was able to start going into my prerequisites. So my prerequisites were anatomy, physiology, and microbiology. Um, anatomy was pretty basic. It was just a lot of terms and a lot of um, like just information. There's not so much like um, pathophysiology, which you would get a lot more into in a nursing program. So it's basically just telling you, oh, well, this is your head, this is your hand, this is, you know, and all those intricate bones and whatnot. And you go into your different um, organs and whatnot. And then you get into physiology and you start getting into how those organs work together or how those organs work. So it's a step up from anatomy. And I know some schools require you to take them together or they'll have you take them separately um, and it really depends so and I think maybe they'll even let you take either one so it really depends on your preference if you wanted to do them at the same time which if you're in a time constraint and you can't do one at a time in two different semesters then go ahead and do two 
at the same time, but definitely do microbiology by itself. So um, micro, again, I had to teach myself a little bit of that too. Um, my professors for anatomy and physiology were awesome, and my micro, she was just all over the place, but I got through it and she was great and she really helped me through it. I was just going through a lot that semester and I got engaged while I was taking micro, so <laughs> that was cool. Um, and so I got through all of them and then I got into my nursing program. So um, if there's anything that I really think you should focus on before you start your prereqs is definitely your sciences and definitely your math. Um, and then when you go into your prereqs, definitely, definitely devote your time to those classes because they are your backbone to going into a nursing program. You need to know all of that information before you go into a nursing program because once you start going into the pathophysiology of different disorders, you have to know how different systems work normally and then once you get into a disorder on how things don't function normally it will start to make sense on why one thing won't work and it will lead to another thing not working so if you understand those prerequisites and you get through them and pass them with flying colors because i know you will then you should do just fine in nursing and you should be able to pass your classes no problem and then um, a lot of well in my program you know, they start off the lectures going over the body system and how it normally works and then how it works for your gerontology patients. So like, what are normal aging, like, considerations that you should know, um, like decreased kidney function or the size of your kidney being smaller. I just say that because we just went over the renal system, which... I just took my test for on Monday and I barely passed. <laughs> passing is passing, right? Especially when you're in nursing school, but not when you're in your prerequisites. Your prerequisites you really need to do well on because those count towards getting into a nursing program and doing well on your T's. So if you know your basic information, your math, your English, your sciences, and you study, 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 and you go take that T's test, you should be good to go. If you have any questions for me about what classes you have taken or should be taking, you can definitely ask me for my insight. I'm not a counselor, so I can't really be professional about something like that, but if you have questions, you can definitely email me here at futurenursenicole at gmail.com and I'll definitely answer them, or you can put your questions down there in the comments and I'll be reading them and answering them like I do with everyone. So um, I'm glad to be back and bring back some more videos. So stay tuned and have a great day. Bye. I can't do this with even here. Why? I'm too nervous. Just do it in your office. No, do it in office. What do you want me to do? I'm gonna take a big poop or something. I'll take a shower. Do you mind? No. Sorry, baby. You just make me nervous.